Hey YouTube and welcome back. So last time we did a um, cool, really really cool mission thing, and I'm I was you saw me getting all giddy about it. But yeah, um, if you don't know what giddy means, it means getting really hyper excited about it. Um, funny story for you, just before we start, I looked at the recording after I did it, and it said ten minutes. I was like, is that it? But then I realised I paused it, and the actual video is half an hour, which is well, it's for a full mission nearly. So. Just for anyone who's new, you should visit the previous tutorial, but what we did is make so you can go up, press E, and we can now collect apples, which adds it to the inventory, and then we can collect it, and then, ka-ching, it gives us money. So we need a ka-ching sound, really, like, ka-ching, like a money gain sound, but we can do that another time. So in this one, we need to create the farmer. So, let's get the surgeon. This one shouldn't be as long as the other one. Let's go and have a look. So, so the surgeon doesn't deserve what, a start headband. So we'll call him the farmer. There we go. So, however, the farmer needs to have a way to be distinctively known. So we need to create a new skin. And this is going to be the worst skin you will ever see. But hey ho, we need to create it. So if we go to our models for our heroes, characters, heroes. Ooh, I can't see. Where are we? Skins. Surgeon. Duplicate that folder, Control D or Command D on a Mac. And we'll call this Farmer. Now what we can do is open this up. And what I plan to do is give him kind of like no shirt. But then like colour his trousers in jeans just so we can tell him he's different for now. So we open Photoshop if I've still got the script there. Because I don't want to lose it. In fact we can get rid of that. Yep, so the Farmer. Um, we need to rename all this to Farmer. Farmer. You've all seen this before, haven't you? I'm just... These couple of tutorials, because I'm showing you everything and not creating it before, it's just so you can actually mm, see the process of what I do beyond the tutorial, just to see how much extra work I put in to show you, to make it look good. But just... If you don't like it, just say, and I will stop. So we need the original skin in order to get his skin right. So he needs no top on, then we're going to have to use his butt cracks, which isn't good. So, we'll copy it from there-ish. And paste it in. So we don't need the face. The reason the face is up there is because that was the old face. If you text that face, nothing's going to happen. So just you're best off just to rub it out. There. Um, his feet, we can leave. So, if we make this opaque a little bit, we can just come into his trousers. Uh, after it stops crashing, and we can just get rid of a little bit like that. And in here, we'll do the same. Oh no, that's it. Holding Shift to do the line tool, but we don't need any of them. So, now if we turn this back up, we should have shirtless farmer for now <laughs> so let's merge it Boom. now we need to somehow make these trousers into like darkish blue like denim jeans so if we just make it down a bit make it a blue texture that'll do let's have a look yeah that'll do because farm I don't know why but my image of a farmer is wearing blue jeans not jeans, it's like overall kind of thing. I don't know. I, that could just be me. But there, so we've got that. Um, do we have this one? Yes, we do. So, what we can do now is paint over it. Ooh. There we go. And I'm guessing a farm is going to be quite tan because it will be in the sun all day because he's a farmer. 
I think my logic probably isn't that well. But so if we just mm, best way to do this, I'm gonna set it to a brownish, an orangish, tannish, like that, and we can just like turn the opacity down a little bit. So select all the skins like that. Go back up to this one, turn it down, make a brush bigger. I'm using the square bracket keys to do it. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that looks quite good. I'm quite happy with that. So we'll save it as Farmer. It is a JPNG. Save. Yep. Sorry if you get sick of my voice after a while, but yeah. So we've got that. Um, we don't need the scripts. We need not the original one, the farmer. Farmer's eyes should keep them as blue. I want some yellow. A farm for wheat, yeah. No, we should make it green. We've not had green eyes yet. So what we need to do is if we drag this late um thing here, I don't know what to call it, window, we can drag this one on top. Paste it back. He will have a very blotchy face if we leave him like that. But the point of this is that we can do that and just now we have the same skin colour as his feet kind of thing. There we go, so that one's done, close that, that one's done, close that. Now for the eye, what I'm going to do is just zoom in, quicker tutorial for you, um, we can just zoom in, make the it the same size, that'll do, in fact make it a bit less. So it needs to be 55. So that's pretty much spot on. And now we can go and get the yellow one. Or green. We'll do it greeny yellow. Why not? New layer. Make it 50% off 46. I don't know the rough name. Click. But we need to get rid of the black. We need to make the black bit in the middle actually black. So. I'll do. Yeah, so 46 is what we need. You can copy it over if you like. I'm not going to. I'm just going to redo my process. So 46, new layer, delete the black. Seems simple enough. So 46, new layer, delete the black. Ah. We now have a new farmer, a new character. See, if you get used to it, you can just do quick ones, but it'll look completely different over and over again. But yeah, so that's that. Let's go back into Unity. Let's import the farmer. I do want to do a straw hat for the farmer. Every farmer's got to have a straw hat, else it's just not a farmer. Right? People can agree with me on that. If we have any farmers out there, like as you are a farmer, a game making farmer, which is pretty awesome. Tell me what clothes you actually wear, like, for a farming duties, like, to keep yourself from getting dirt everywhere. Because that'll be interesting to know to put into our game. So we need to create materials for every single one of these. So if we just find where we did the civilian. Civilian, 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 civilian. Duplicate all them. Paste it into the farmer. And now let's begin renaming everything. Yay. Farmer 01. In fact, that'll be 02 because it's the last one. Farmer 02. Farmer. We don't. That didn't want to rename. Cut like that. Farmer. Skin 1. Farmer. I 1. Farmer. We actually do need to keep the O1 on, don't we, in case we have different types of farmers. Farmer, 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 eye. Farmer skin. We can fix that skin bit and the eye bit. There we go. So, eye left for the farmer is that one. Oh, that one. Eye right, that one. Farmer skin. We have two farmer skins. We don't need that one. 
I believe. I hope we didn't need it, else we just deleted it. Farmer skin. Farmer two. And farmer three. There we go. So we just assigned them all. My Unity window's moved. Sorry about that. There we go. So, where's our farmer? He's there. Body. Farmer left. Farmer right. Farmer skin. Farmer skin. Farmer two. Farmer two. I don't know why it's two, but. So let's turn our lights off. Hey! That turns out pretty nice. His neck's a bit messed up, and so are his trousers. He's got his yellowy green eyes. Looks like he's got a belly. We need to fix that a little bit, but we can do that another time, yeah. So we've got our farmer for now. So, now we need to make it. So when we finish the mission, and we go up to the farmer, it'll work. Cannot move assets. That's fine. Right. Best way to do this would be to open our mission script up again. We'll create everything in here. So, in here, we'll type if mission active equals false. So we can copy this if statement. Then it won't do none of this. Here. But then we can get rid of this if statement here. So if any of this, so if the mission is false, then it won't do any of this detecting thing for the script, which is what we need. However, what we do need is for it to check the farmer. What's the play? Oh, there it is, yeah, right, yeah, I got confused then. So we can copy all of this and paste it after mission active equals true. Because this way we'll detect with whether the farmer's done. So, up here, mission active equals false. However, mission requirements is false too. So, if mission requirements equals true, which we'll set here. So, basically, we'll set this. So, when he collects five apples, then it will um, activate it so he can go up to the farmer. Um, take, in fact, we'll change it to objective objective complete objective complete um, return to farmer there we go so that one's that's done we don't need that no more however some of this needs to be taken out because well yeah we need these two on but all everything else needs to come out and go into the farmer So I'll paste it there, so when they come up to him and press E, it should do that. However, character, ew, it's measuring it from this, minus game object dot find. So when it's trying to find this as position, we'll change it to farmer, farmer, that's it, farmer dot transform dot position. So now that should work to finish. In fact we'll change it to talk. Talk. Press E to talk. So we'll talk to him. If he's in range, he presses E, he should mission complete, I hope. So in here we'll type mission complete. So I hope that works. Actually, we need to enable mission requirements. That's what we need to do. Equals false. True, I mean, yeah. However, I can see a glitch right there. What happens if they do that? Um, they get five apples, then they sell one. This will still be true. So, what we can do is type above this. If, in fact, below it. So, if he's got more than five, five or more apples it'll do it, else if he hasn't, this requirement equals false so in that way we need more apples to do it yeah so if you don't get what that means just think it over sorry it's rushed, I'm just trying to not make it super long again we have errors, there is already a local variable named player, oh yes 
So, if we call this Player 2. I know it's the worst naming convention ever, but it'll do. It's already named with move direction. Oh, come on, 2. Move direction 2. Move direction 2. Right, try again. Will you like it now? Right, let's try it. I really want to see if this works. I've never actually made my own mission. This is off the top of my head. We might need to change the fire button or the thingy button. So when we click this, the script should stay there. Objective complete. Return to farmer. In fact, we need to change it from return to to go to. So press E to talk. It's trying to override it with objective complete. E. Mission complete. Did it destroy it? Did we get our money? Yes. So that worked, but we've got a couple of glitches in it. So objective complete. Um, we'll just say objective complete because he's not finished it. Yeah. But something's still making it tick. So if we change this to false and then back to true, that might reset it so that it kicks it off and kicks it back on when we complete it. Hopefully. We do need to change the fire button very soon. I might change it to Q. I don't know why Q, but it seems easier. Objective complete. Go up to him. Is it working? Yes. We get a bit of glitch when we stand halfway in, but press E. I press D. E. There we go. Hmm. So that's not working. So objective complete. Well, I guess if we just move the farmer far away, then... Well, obviously we're not going to make the farmer stand right outside, are we? Because then the mission will be too easy. So we need to make him walk a little. So if we went and got the farmer... In here, we'll rename this enemies folder to NPCs, so non-playable characters. And our surgeon, our farmer, our civilian will all be put into this NPC to clear it up. In-game time will be kicked up to... Ooh, no, no, no. Um, HUDs. We're just making it easier to, like, see things. Cabin enter. We don't need that. This is that one we did for a test, isn't it? Yes, we don't need that no more. And this farmer... In fact, we need a vehicles one. So let's see if I can still remember how to spell it. V vehicles. I think that's right. Um, all our cars will shove in here. That's our arcade game. There we go. So it's just a bit neater now. So where's our farmer? Come here, farmer. You can go all the way over here. So let's test it. If this works, we only really have the talking screen and the. Falcon Punch, which is getting kind of annoying to do. But it's always E to activate a mission. I don't know, on like RPG kind of games, why is it to fire? You usually click with your mouse, don't you? So objective complete, that should disappear soon. Mission complete. There, and we got our money. So yeah. So in the next tutorial, we'll make the object talk screen, so when you click it, it shows up. Then you can talk to the farmer and that should be the mission complete. So thanks for watching, I really hope you're liking these series. See you next time.